Capricorn, Capricorn, what is going on? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again to let you know what the energies are surrounding your sign for the month of March 2019. Yes, indeed, baby. Yes, indeed. Shout out to everyone who has been liking, sharing, and subscribing to Scorpion Reds. Thank you so much. If this video resonates with you, go ahead and um, like and subscribe if you're new to my page. Thank you so much for all the love. If anyone would like a personal and private reading, you can do so by clicking the About tab on my YouTube page. There is a hyperlink down there in the link section that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, it's a blue link down there that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. If this video resonates and you want to give a dollar or two to the PayPal to give a, you know, show some love, you can do so. The PayPal information is in the description. All right. So Capricorn, let's find out what's going on for the month of March. All right. Let's get into the prayer. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Capricorn for March 2019. Please give us blessings, guidance, and love for 2019. In general, we are looking for overall happiness, emotional fulfillment, love, abundance, career success, money success, happy house, happy family, just overall security and just, you know, clarity and happiness and love. Father God, please give the sign of Capricorn guidance in March 2019. Thank you again for all of the messages in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of Capricorn guidance. Thank you. Magical space cleaning time. The two little witches. <clears throat> it is time for you to clean up certain elements that is going on in your life that do not need to be there. It's some old cobwebs. It's some dust. It's some dust mites in the pillows in the bed. It's time for you to shake them pillows off. Probably replace some of your stuff and just get rid of you know like you know them old blankets and stuff you done had for like 20 years and it's starting to tear and the the, the insulation in the inside is starting to come out and just it's time to throw certain things away certain things it's just it ain't got no life to it no more you need to just let it go all right capricorn so let's see what we need to clean up let's see what advice the book has for us in regards to cleaning up here the two little witches. From out of the shadow come two little witches, solemn and sincere. They fix you with their clear green and blue gaze and ready for the magic that is the broom that they're about to pass on to you. And what is the magical secret of this broom? Why is it that it can sweep and clear away any old stale energy that is lurking about you at this moment? Take this broom and see it whisk all by itself. Once, twice, three times. Witter shins around the house, your health, and your home. And it will all clear out all that is hidden in the shadows and in the corner and underneath of the rooms that you... Uh, hold on. Hold on, you guys. Take this broom and see it whisk all by itself. Once, twice, three times. Witter shins around your house, your heart, your home. And it will clear out all that is hidden in the shadows of the corners and underneath of the rooms of your soul and home. Yeah, that's the thing that threw me off. I'm like, what you mean underneath the rooms? But that's what it said, okay? So, Wittershins is a traditional direction for clearing energy, all right? It means against the sun and the northern hemisphere. Go to go. Wittershins is the direct energy in counterclockwise directions. I have no idea what any of this shit is talking about. I've never heard of a witter shin in my damn life. Anyway, in the southern hemisphere, it is to go direct energy clockwise. When it is done, 
they clash their hands three times and the broom returns to their arms and they move on to the next home that needs help but now that is done what will you fill your space in your life with that is the greatest and trickiest choice of all but it's one that only you can make all right so these little two witches speak out out from within we cleanse this space from the troubled den out out let it be gone and make this place a chill for home we are here to cleanse and clean we are creatures in between we work from dusk till dawn to ensure energy is reborn we leave it clear and bright and blank and for this task we ask no thanks but we do wish you well in this may all bought in create your bliss the true message here and sorry you guys for like I said my little third grade reading y'all sorry it says make the mundane work for you all right it is time to conduct house cleaning followed by house blessing here is an easy pointer new locations either the smallest of the changes in your house or objects rearrange what goes there and where in your bedroom or just the entire thing move everything around as much as you can in your mind when these twin witches show up with their broom of power if there is anything keeping you back from making changes, make small, useful, and symbolic gestures. Shift the furniture and clear away what you no longer need. Whatever you need to do to make change, we will always rediscover stuff that we've been holding on to. Stuff that has been wedged down without us even realizing it was there. It was time and it is now time to clear your space. So basically, if y'all got through all that horrible reading, um, you just, it, it might be old things lingering around. Like they said, it might be wedged in between your sofa or something like that. You just need to have something new, clean, and free in your house. Whatever energy, whatever person is stagnating your life and just keeping your life stale and that is you know stopping the air from coming in and, and, and circulating freely you need to change that and then to symbolize the change move just one little piece of furniture around move your bed to another part of your room and you might realize it might be a sock or something from that person laying under there that you didn't even realize and you're like why can't I get this person's energy out of my house or I, I, you know what I'm saying because it's still stuff for this person lingering around so I don't went different on y'all I done picked up this the love clarification at first so I'm gonna just jump into here and I'm just gonna work it backwards I guess alright please give the sign of Capricorn clarification and love in March Please clarify the two little witches. Thank you so much. Please give Capricorn guidance and love. Please give the sign of Capricorn. Why do I feel like something is turned over? Is it not? No. What is this? Cycles. Yeah, you've been going through... Um, I feel like you've been going through cycles in life. Not only in life, but in love too. I feel like you've been going through an ongoing cycle with attracting the same type of people and the same type of energies. And that's why they're saying it's time to clean up certain things. And especially if you've been going through an ongoing cycle with the same person. Pause. You're not ready to take a pause. You're not ready to take a pause. You're not ready to take a pause in these cycles with this person feel like you're still trying to hold on to something and you need to reinvent yourself you need to reinvent yourself and clean up stop these toxic cycles grief you're scared to go through grief what grief forgiveness hmm Fifth dimension. 
me one more. Fall. All right. So this is what I'm getting here. This is what I'm getting here. So you know that they're telling us, number one, is we got to clean up some things. So we're just going to sit that right here. The magical space clearing time. It's time for us to clear our space. And what they're trying to tell you why is because you're going through toxic cycles over and over again. But for whatever reason, you cannot seem to bring yourself to the point where you're able to put a pause in these toxic cycles. It's time for reinvention. And I believe this is something that you already know to be true. But you know that you might possibly suffer great grief trying to reinvent yourself and make changes in your life because I feel like there are certain toxic cycles that you've been going on, you've been holding on to, and it's hard for you to make that pause because you don't it's it's it, it, it it's some things that you're gonna go through and it's some, and it's certain things that um you feel like it's going to be hard for you to, to forgive from certain people. And I feel like there might be certain things about you that might make it hard for them to forgive. But however, you need to reinvent yourself and you need to fight through whatever this grief is. I, I need to know what this grief is. And what is this that you're not able to forgive? I need to figure out what this is because at the end of the day, you need to fight through this grief and forgive and find a way to forgive whoever or whatever this is about yourself or whoever did something to you. Because right now, on a fifth dimensional level, things are going to be changing this fall. This fall, things are really going to be changing for you. And I feel like your vibration is going to be ascending to a higher level Um in just ways that you can feel mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. I just feel like this is something that's going to affect your world in all areas, in all aspects. Something is coming this fall. So let's break this down a little bit, okay? Oop. So let's break this down a little bit. We're going to do this in two sections. Y'all's going, or three sections. Y'all read is going to be a little bit differently. Than everybody else's. So if y'all cross watching and doing y'all's different. So Capricorn, please give me some guidance to clarify these cycles, ongoing cycles that they're not making a pause. They're not ready to stop in order to make this reinvention. Because as soon as they change those cycles and stop delaying. Because you need to put a pause in whatever this toxic cycle is. You need to put a pause in it, but you're not doing it. Once you do that, that's going to completely reinvent yourself. All right? I feel like you're not focused. You're not paying attention. I feel like you've been high and drunk a lot. All right? And I feel like you, you're, you're self-consumed. This person... This person is self-consumed. I feel like this person has a lot of great offers and a lot of great things being offered to them. But they are so much in a drunken days and just a high. This person is really um, overindulging in maybe the drugs and the alcohol. They don't even see what's being offered in front of them. They're not paying attention, nor are they aware um, in order to even entertain an offer at this point in time. I feel like this person is high off their goddamn rockers right now. This person is too busy celebrating yet again. There go some cups. I feel like this person is too busy doing whatever that they need to do to uh, satisfy their emotional needs. And um, not really too much pay attention to anything else that might be being offered to them that might be better or more beneficial to them. Only thing they're worried about is celebrating at this current moment. Mm -hmm. and not even realizing that they're walking into an unstable environment and someone is assisting you and walking you into this environment someone is literally pushing you there like who is this person who is this person here that is literally walking you into your own demise planning uh, so I mean I don't want to say that there's I want to say that there's a lot of uh, third-party energy going on here. Now, this is planning. This is planning. 
It's just someone trying to work together, okay? So I just, I, I feel like this here. I feel like this here. I feel like you're dealing with somebody. This person keeps you so high and drunk and confused and in the days with substance abuse, honestly. Because you see this person, first off, they're trying to say that you're self-consumed, number one. And that you be too high and drunk all of the time. You and this, whoever this person is that helped walk you into this unstable environment. Only thing y'all do is sit around and get high and drunk all of the time. And you're not even paying attention. This is two threes. So that there's definitely a third party energy in this situation. And I feel like this person just helped walk you into it all the while keeping you high and drunk. And so that you weren't even aware of what is being offered in front of you to even make a solid decision they just want they want you to be blinded and almost you know they want you to be blinded as you walk into making this decision on planning to work with them on something that involves someone else do you see what i'm saying it's involves someone else. This is someone else in the situation. So. <laughs> high, drunk, fucked up, celebrating. In a tizzy. In a dizzy. In a dizzy. Someone walking you into a situation. I just want you to. I just want y'all to see what, what what I'm saying here. I know I'm repeating myself a lot. I just want y'all to see what I'm saying, and that's and that, and that is why you are continuously making these. Um, you can't put a pause on something if you're so goddamn high and drunk all the time. You can't make a conscious decision. And I feel like you keep dating people like that. I feel like you date a lot of people that y'all drink and y'all drug and y'all party hard with each other, and y'all are just destructive. And it's hard for you to put a pause on this behavior because you're having too much fun. And I and, and it's hard for you to reinvent yourself. And you know you need to re reinvent yourself because you, you know that this these cycles are not healthy for you. And it's someone walking you into stagnation to a situation where you're going to be burdened and bound and not able to make a solid decision because someone that's sober, they would say, you know what, if it's just me and you, what this other person doing here? Like, I'm not, I don't got no issues. I don't need no counselor. Like, what we need a counselor for? What we need help for? Who is this person? Like, no, like, let me and you work on it and try to figure it out ourselves. If we can't figure it out ourselves, okay, then we'll go seek help. But right now, we don't need help. Like, no. Maybe if you don't be trying to, like, keep me influenced with all these drugs and alcohol and shit like that, maybe, like, no, and y'all got to watch people like that. If Every time they come into you, they come into you with drugs and alcohol and shit. Watch them motherfuckers. They don't want you to be able to make a, a, a decision or, or to form an opinion about them or what they're doing if they, they're constantly keeping you intoxicated. Grief and non-forgiveness. Drinking again. Drinking again. Listen. This grief and non-forgiving is about going back to a situation. I feel like, honestly, this is about going back to behaviors that you, you worked your way through this. I feel like you have pulled yourself out of a space where you were, like, indulging in drugs and alcohols. And I feel like you walked your ass right back into it. You walked your ass right back into that situation. Please clarify this, um, Eight of Cups in reverse, please. And I feel like you don't really forgive yourself for getting yourself back into that lifestyle and just with people in this lifestyle. You want your Wheel of Fortune to turn around. And you want some new forget um, beginnings. But you feel weak. But you feel weak because I feel like you 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 got yourself back in a situation where you're being influenced by drugs and alcohol. And I feel like the person that you're dating is the main person that is bringing this shit around you and you got away from it. Clarify this fifth dimension in the fall.
All right. So what is that? The um, the Seven of Pentacles, the King of Swords in reverse. I feel like you're gonna feel, yeah. All right. You're gonna you're gonna feel literally in every way, shape, or form in the fall. That um, this King of Swords here, you could be dealing with an air sign. All right. This person is cold to you. I feel like this person is very mentally manipulative. Um, this person doesn't really work to help you do any fucking thing to help to work clean up y'all environment. You're trying to clean up your environment and this person that you're dealing with ain't trying to clean up shit. And this is also to let you know... Um, if you don't work to get your environment clean, this person that you're dealing with, they're going to end up cutting you out. They're, they're going to end up cutting you out anyway. So it's like, either you get in front of this situation before they get in front of you. Because your environment is dirty. You ain't really working and putting the investment into yourself to make your situation better. And that's why... You know, I feel like you want to make a move. You know, you really want to make a move forward and try to get some better traction in your life and start attracting better things into your life. That's why, you know, this person sent the bird out to see, is it okay for me to move forward now? I'm really ready to go and, you know, make some changes in my life. But that bird came back and they said, it's not time to do that right now. You know what I'm saying? It is not time to do that right now. Okay? You need to face and you need to deal with your demons. You can't move forward before you deal with your demons. You have to do the work and you have to clean up your environment first. You need to clean up yourself inside and out. You can't move forward and get these blessings that are coming in the fall if you're not going to do the work. And not only that, you need to cut out this person. You need to cut out this person before they cut you out. Because honestly, what I'm getting, this person is keeping you in a drunken high stupor to get what they want. They have somebody else lingering in the background. This right here is telling me twice that there's, there's a third party element in this environment. That's been clarified twice for me. And when we get into the love, we'll, we'll figure out even more. But you feel weak. And this person reintroduced and influenced you to pick up a nasty drug and alcohol habit that you had let go and you're in grief because you can't really forgive yourself for getting sucked back down in this situation and you need to cut this motherfucker out of your life because this person is mentally manipulative i don't feel like he tells you the truth about anything this person always keeps you guessing this person can be very verbally nasty to you and physically nasty to you some of you guys are going through that but i feel like you cannot figure out a way to get away from this person and i feel like you're waiting for a message for something before you can make a movement forward and I I have no idea what type of message that you're looking for. But whatever message you're looking for, something told you no, it's not time to move forward yet. Something said it's not time to move forward yet. Why? You feel like it's not time to move forward and then get away from this situation. You got to put the work in. I feel like, I feel like, honestly, like, you're not really willing to put the work into yourself, by yourself like that. I don't know why you feel like you need an element there with you, you know? I don't know why you, you, you feel like you need somebody there with you, but this person is not a nice person. It's the death card. You need to end this situation. Do you see what I'm saying? This is it's time for this situation to end. That's what they're trying to tell you. It's time to clean this shit up. The death card is marching in. Okay? Okay? You can have a Scorpio in your atmosphere that is trying to tell you on like a fifth dimensional way. Like, look. You need to clean this shit up and get this out of your, out of your life. Because by the fall... You don't need to be bringing this shit into the fall when the season starts changing. Maybe somebody that you know is a Scorpio has been talking to you and has been telling you since the fall, last year, that you needed to get rid of this shit. 
And it just stuff is starting to affect you on all in all elements in all ways. Mental, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Clarify this death card. What's happening this fall? What's coming in this fall for Capricorn? That needs to end in order for this new beginning to happen. And this new beginning, this new beginning, when it comes in, it's going to be good for all parties involved. It's going to be good for all parties involved. So if you have children and things like that, come on now, that's too much. If you have children and things like, if you have children, this is going, this new, this new um, beginning is going to be beneficial. Oh, where did this come in? I don't know how this got mixed up in there, but okay. So this is the nine of pentacles in reverse. This person that you've been dealing with, that clarifies it. You're not working on it. You're not working on it. This person doesn't deserve to be in your life. This person is nasty. This person is mentally manipulative. This is something that you know, but I feel like you are looking for some type of evidence before you move forward to know if this person has third party energy or, or not. Like, I feel like you're looking for some evidence or you're looking for some type of clarification and you need that before you can move forward. But at the end of the day, this person is sucking you dry of all your resources. Like, before you met this person, I felt like you were physically able, you were physically fit, you had a nice little coin in your pocket, you were successful in your career, and I feel like your life has physically been turned upside down. I feel like some of you guys could have lost jobs. You guys could have lost apartments and been evicted. I feel like your bank accounts have been depleted. I feel like, you know, ever since you, this person has came into your life, that this person has literally fucked up every aspect of your financial and your, um, just your lifestyle, your way of living, your way of living. And, and not only that, but it's been changed because this person has reintroduced this drinking, this drug habit into your life. And that's affected your money. You know, before you used to keep money in your pocket because you wasn't even, you changed, you weren't even living that lifestyle. You wasn't living like that no more. You was not living like that no more, Capricorn. This person came back around Got you doing all this drinking and drugging shit. You can't, you having grief. You can't even forgive yourself. And I feel like you ain't even been around your family and your friends. Like you probably been incognito a little bit. You ain't been hanging out. Ain't nobody seen you. That's because your ass been and got back into these damn drinking and drugs and shit. And your ass is too fucking embarrassed to come around your family and friends. Because if they was to see you, they will fucking know that shit. Just by looking at you, they'll know, oh, so-and-so doing drugs again. So-and-so's doing drinking really bad again. Uh-uh. You got to kill this situation. This situation has to end in order for this new beginning to come. And this new beginning is going to be... It's going to be the best thing for you and your kids and everybody involved. But this person don't have nothing to do with it. Don't have nothing to do with it. Your That person time has come. This person is toxic. And this person has been nothing but negative in your life. And not only do I think this person has been negative in your life, I feel like it's Im impacted other people that's in your life, too. Because your beginning, your new blessing, your new financial beginning, I feel like your job is going to pop off. Your home security is going to be good. Everything. I feel like this person has affected your stable environment, okay? So, right now, you, are, you need to put up a barrier. You need to put up a barrier and you need to protect yourself, okay? And you need to block out certain things. And you need to do it vigorously and with a passion. Do you see what I'm saying? You have to protect your environment and your energy at all costs. At all costs. Okay? Because this is a person that, again, this is the magician in reverse. You feel weak. This person has sucked you dry of all of your resources. You're not able 
to perform and do the things that you used to do. Not only that, but this person got you doing sneaky, underhanded, manipulative, fucked up shit. I feel like this person has drug, drug you down into a nasty way of being and took you into your dark energy. Do you see what I'm saying? That low vibration, you know, that that Capricorn low vibration energy, they, they, they took you there. They took you there. And you feel backstabbed and betrayed by this person. You feel backstabbed and betrayed by this person mentally because I told you there's some third party energy over there. And at the end of the day, only thing you wanted was attention and, you know, for y'all to be happy and there to be a successful, passionate, loving relationship here. But even though you're the one on the inside, all right, you feel like you've almost been tormented because I feel like you're financially taking care of the whole freaking family. And not only that, even though things look good on the outside, but on the end, is it really all that happy? Look at this person. This person looks miserable. Even though you're in the inside of the church, honey, even though you're the one that's at home, you're the one. So I'm looking at this like some of you guys might be the girlfriend, some of you guys might be the wife, but you're miserable. You still. Sorry, even though you're on the inside, you still feel like you're locked out in the cold for some reason. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I want you to continue to have faith. I want you to continue to let the sun shine over your life. I need you to have hope and I need you to have the determination to move forward and to, you know, really clean up your environment and open up the windows and let the sun shine in to change. Do you understand? You are mentally clear and you really do know because you wouldn't feel grief and, and, and not feel like you can't forgive yourself if you weren't mentally clear about the type of person that you're dealing with and the type of energy that's going on right here. You're mentally clear. You know that this person needs to get the fuck out of your energy. You know this person is not good for you. And you know it. You see those four towers right there? This person is not conducive to your to your material world. This person is not conducive to your material world. I'm trying to tell you, do you see those four towers in the background? If you do not let this go, you know that this person sucks you dry um, financially, emotionally, physically, and mentally. You know that this situation is not good for you. If you continue to hold on to the situation instead of letting it go and turning your back at it, you see... The wizard looking out that window. You're going to have four unforeseen tower moments of bad luck energy. Four different things that you have no idea was cooking in the background. And you ain't even going to see it coming. Boom, 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 boom. Four different towers. You see it, right? And the thing is, you see it. This is not even something that you don't know. You see it. But at the same time, you are just so determined that this is your soulmate. That you don't even see the battles that are ahead. See, this is just two people playing games. They just playing the game. They play fighting. No, this is a battle to the death, honey. This is something that could quite possibly cost you your life and everything that you work for. Because if y'all dealing with drugs, especially if y'all have kids... This can take you down, like really rock bottom down. This is a battle that I don't even think that you realize is as serious. It's like this kid get you like, you know. But you, you are very, very nurturing. You're very giving. You're very caring. Like you care for this person. You want to help. I feel like you might have possibly got yourself in this situation trying to help and take care of somebody else and didn't realize that they were taking care of you when the, <laughs> they were taking care of you and they were taking care of a couple of other people this is the page of wands i mean this is the um is this the page of wands this is the page of wands indeed 
It's a page of wands. Okay? So, this person was taking care of you too. And it was possibly taking care of other people. You know the Page of Wands is a flighty individual. They are very good at starting passionate new endeavors. But they're not good with finishing them. As soon as the flame fizzles out, they're off to the next. So that's why I'm telling you over here. If you don't work on this. Because right now you're not putting the work in. To make this change so that you can receive this abundance in the fall. So they can change your life on every dimension. If you don't put the work in, this person is going to end up cutting you out anyway. Ever you cut this person out, they're going to end up cutting you out. Because as soon as the flame fizzled out and this person has sucked you dry of all of your resources and there's nothing more that they can take, they're going to turn their back on you and they're going to cut you out. So don't sit back and, and wait for messages and try to figure out if you can find proof about... If this person is cheating or doing anything before you leave. The proof is in the fact that all of your resources have been depleted. So why are you stagnating moving forward? Don't do that. This person was only in it for when it was hot anyway. And this person, you're going to those messages that you're looking for. You're going to find those passionate messages that this person has been sending out. You're going to find them. Have no doubt about that. All right. What is this? This is the hermit in reverse. All right. Spirit wants you to come out. It's time for you to come out and you need to really regain your thoughts and really come to terms and get mental clarity about the situation here. You need to cut this person out of your life. All right. You need to cut this person out of your life. And again, like I said, if you don't cut this person out of your life, this man that is mentally manipulating you, that don't tell you the truth about any fucking thing, this person is cold to you. This person is not faithful. This is not a family man at all. It's more like a bachelor. The only person he cares about is what he holds true to himself. He don't give a fuck about telling you the truth. Tell you the truth for what? Who are you? That's the last time this person looks at you. You feel what I'm saying? And go that third of pentacles again. That three of pentacles. This person wants you to come and work with them. And work so that. <laughs> this person wants you to come and work with them. While they're behind your back working with somebody else. And you left there standing alone. Trying to put together a foundation by yourself. I told you this is third party energy. Do you hear me? Stop being a fool. Look, zero. Give this person zero of your energy and move forward. Move forward. Let your faith guide you. Let your faith guide you, Capricorn. Let your faith guide you, my dear. You cannot... Do not let love make a fool out of you. Do you understand what I'm saying? You may love it, but is it loving you? Because if you're finding messages that this person is sending out to other people and you're vying for attention because you want to be acknowledged by this person. But this person is wanting you to work with them while they're working with other people. So at the end of the day, like I wouldn't be vying for attention and, find, and trying to find happiness and looking. I feel like you're, 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 you're giving this person more than what they deserve. You're looking. I don't know why. Free yourself, Capricorn. This is not the one. All right? Not only that, I told you that this was only a honeymoon period. And a honeymoon period has fizzled out. If you think that this person is not going behind your back making plans with someone else, you got shit fucked up. If you sit there and wait and do not make the decision to cut this element and this energy out of your life ahead of time, by the fall, this person is going to leave you because they're already making plans with other people to get ready to make their fucking smooth ass mistakes, uh, smooth ass escape. This person does not have romantic feelings for you. This was, do you understand what I'm saying? Capricorn. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't think I got nothing else to give you in love. Let me see. What is this saying? This is not someone that you should trust and you don't trust this person. You should have got to know this person more. Okay? You're not loving yourself. That's what this person does. People like this look for people that they think they can get into their crawl 
you know, and seduce them with their good looks and with their charm. And the next thing you know, oh, you want to hit this joint? Or, oh, you want to drink this? Or, oh, you want to pop some ecstasy? Oh, you want to do this? Oh, you want to do that? And then once they get you locked in with that bullshit, with the drugs and then with the sex and all of that shit like that, you're in a place where you're not truly sober enough to make a sound decision because this person got their spirit when they started having sex with you they put that negative toxic spirit in you sexually okay because y'all are exchanging energy sexually and then this person put the drug element on there with you and you're not really loving yourself and putting yourself first because if you were you would have been able to see that you would have been able to see that my dear do you understand what i'm saying Please give Capricorn guidance in regards to their life purpose and career right now. And we're about to get up out of here. I'm about, about to give y'all one more message here we about. Oh, okay. The flowers in reverse, dead. Dead. You need to dead that damn situation. Alright. Counseling. I feel like you are... You need to get counseling, and I feel like you're not you're not willing to reach out and get the counseling that you need. I feel like you need to talk to somebody about what's going on, but I feel like you don't forgive yourself and you're too ashamed to reach out to someone because you really did come a long way, Capricorn. And I, yeah, you came such a long way, and I and I'm I it hurts my heart that you got back into doing drugs. All right. I think that you need to stop being ashamed about this and open up and speak to someone that you trust about what's going on in this situation so that you could truly get help because your energy is off. Your energy is off. And not only that, you have options. You have options where you can get help and you can change your energy, okay? This person is an artist. This is what they do. Do you understand? This is like an art to them. How they manipulate people and get people trapped up in this bullshit here, okay? You need to dead this situation. These flowers are dead. You know the stench of dead flowers? It stinks. It's dead. It's rotten. You need to call that death card. You need to end this situation and quickly, okay? I want you to grab something of resources, a resource, some crystals. I don't know if you got a rosary. I don't know what it is. Something tangible that can help you remember to guide yourself with self-love. And like even if it's just you putting like a little Buddha statue on your desk at work or something like that. Do you understand? I don't care what it is. You just need something tangible to keep it close to your heart and your chest right now to keep you centered so that you can remember to focus on self-love and keeping positive energies around you at all times. And I don't think that you have something like that. I want you to go if y'all, you know. You want to go get you some rosary beads or if you want to go get you some chakra stones or if you want to go get you, you know. And then also I want you to get you some fresh flowers and start putting fresh flowers in your house. Because I want you to remind yourself to protect your life and that your life is the most important thing. And once you start... Once you buy those flowers and you actually care about trying to keep it alive, you'll think more about yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? It takes energy. It takes time. It takes work to keep your life vibrant. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I want you to work hard every day to bring the life and, and happiness and the joy into your life. Don't let nobody suck the energy out of your life. All right? Recharge your crystals, recharge your soul, recharge your happiness. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And create, 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 create everything that you have gone through. I want you to take all of this energy and I want you to create and produce something great. Let me give you one more last message and then we are out of here, Capricorn. All right. I want you guys to be strong and you know that I love you. You know that I love you, Capricorn. If there ain't nobody that I'm rooting for, I'm rooting for you because you guys, y'all be going through some shit sometimes. Capricorns or Scorpios, boy, we be going through some shit, man. If anyone can resonate and understand you, I understand you. You got to fight you and stop letting people that don't deserve to be around you in you. Because you are abundant and you was good on your fucking own. Don't let nobody, this person seem. There is something to worry about. Capricorn, things are going to get worse if you do not change. You have to get the situation out of your atmosphere. You have until the fall to make changes. 
you have until the fall to make positive changes, okay? But I don't feel like you're listening right now. You're not listening to what spirit is trying to tell you. And if you keep allowing this person in your energy, you're going to sink deeper and deeper into the drugs and shit. I promise you. You need to get the joy back into your life. I really don't even feel like you're happy for real because I feel like you're alone a lot of times. And that's why you've been thinking. You've been thinking about reinventing yourself. And if you need help, just ask the Lord. Get down on your knees. When this person is not around, when you're by yourself, I feel like you've been crying a lot too. Capricorn ask God for help but you can't just ask God for help it don't work like that you can't just ask you have to physically put the effort towards making a change okay and when God be dropping them signs on you put the effort to make the change make the change See only love into your situation. Love yourself. Love yourself out of this situation. Love yourself out of this. Do you see me? You're strong, Capricorn. I love y'all. Capricorn, I fucking love y'all, man. You know what? Realize this is a toxic cycle. I've been through this before. I've been through this before. I got myself out of this shit before. I can do it again. Put a pause on that shit. Stop delaying that shit because you was right here. Put the brakes on this bitch. Put the brakes on this shit. Because guess what? You already been thinking about reinventing yourself. And you were fucking reinventing yourself. And you was doing a damn thing. Don't let no punk ass motherfucker come in your goddamn energy. And try to take you down. Because you a beautiful soul and you were going somewhere. And the devil just be like, oh no, bitch. Oh no, bitch. And not my Capricorn. Because you know Capricorn sign is repudiated. You know, that's, 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 the, that's the devil card in the tarot. Addictions, addictions, being bound, tied, let that shit go, reinvent yourself, show these motherfuckers that you something better, you know what you doing Capricorn, don't let nobody try to pull you back down into that low vibrational energy, cause when you up high, you up high and you be killing shit, and the world be scared of you when you be out there killing shit Capricorn, you hear me? When you at your best and you at your high vibration, motherfuckers be scared. And that's why they be trying to tempt you with that devilish shit, with that negative, toxic. That's why they do that, because they don't want you to be great. Capricorn, be great. Go out there and tell them that they can kiss your ass and go kill them. Whoop ass and take names, goddamn Capricorn. I love y'all. Take your power back. Take your power back. Only thing you got to do is clean up. Clean shop, baby. And you know what? I understand. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Just make the change. Have that talk with God. Forgive yourself. If he forgive you, you should forgive yourself. Every day that you wake up, you get a second chance. Everybody got 24 hours in a day. Is what you decide to do with your 24 hours. Capricorn, I love you. I'm gone, baby. Grab that new beginning. The will of fortune is turning in your favor. Don't ever forget that that was laying there. Don't ever forget that that was laying there. That's always been there. I love you, Capricorn. I'm gone.